Hey, I'm Dr. Dino Pappas. Thanks for joining me. This is part two, part two of the videos on spondylolisthesis. In the first video, we answered the question, what is spondylolisthesis and how do we treat and manage it? Part two is gonna give you some simple exercises, namely five exercises that we use for spondylolisthesis. Before we move on, the views in this video are my views and my views alone. They do not represent the views of any entity or agency that it may be affiliated with. These five exercises are knees to chest. We're gonna do that on the table. I'm gonna give you a couple options for decompression of your back from a seated, standing, prone, and then from a hanging position. We'll do an exercise called the wall bug, we'll do an exercise called the reverse wall bug, and then lastly, we'll do something called the barrel roll. Um, just refreshing here real quick, spondylolisthesis is a fracture of the vertebra. One of the parts of the vertebra, the bone in the low, low back is fractured or in the neck is fractured, and there's translation, it's slippage of one level onto another. So that's what it is. Here we go, here's exercise number one. The exercise is gonna be a knees to chest exercise. What that is, is a simple way of stretching out, oftentimes these, these tight muscles in the back, these lumbar paraspinals. This is a good, simple relaxation position that somebody can do to unload the spine, decompress the spine, and get a little bit of a stretch for the um, lumbar paraspinals and decompress those joints. So this needs to chest stretch. Sometimes we'll have them groove repetitions, maybe 20 repetitions, maybe about three or four times a day. Sometimes we'll turn this into a static hold position. Second thing, a decompression position for the back. Um, often people will intuitively work into this position. From a seated position, it's putting your arms into the table, pushing your body upright, and letting the remaining part of your body kind of hunker down or hang down. When we're in this position, we're literally trying to pull apart the spine, separate the spine, provide some decompression in this position. We can do it sitting. We can do it in the short stop position while patients will put their hands on their hips and hands on the knees and push up again, trying to get a decompressed position of the spine to reduce symptoms or stress on that area. It can be done prone. When they're in, on their stomach, they can go over an abdominal ball. They can put their knees up into the abdominal ball, hands to the side, or they can reach and grab onto something and pull with their arms here and the goal of it is to create some opening of those joints of the spine. These joints often get aggravated or irritated in the spondylolisthesis. If you have a bar, like you go to a, a park or you have a pull-up bar at home, you can also accomplish some decompression by hanging from the bar and letting your legs kind of dangle. Again, this will try to open up or decompress those joints back here in the spine. One of the exercises I like um, is a good neutral exercise. It's called a wall bucket. From this position here, patients will push their fists into the wall. They'll just push gently into the table with their spine. They'll bring one leg up here and slowly just kind of march from this position here. Again, this position will provides a little bit of decompression of their spine and gets a little bit of deep core muscle engagement. Hopefully that can reduce some of that sensitivity to those joints that are aggravated, irritated, from the spondylolisthesis. That's the wall bug. The reverse wall bug, the patient will go up against the wall. They'll put their feet up on their wall. Instead of pushing with their hands, they'll push with their feet into the wall. And then what they'll do is they'll reach towards the, the back wall. As they start reaching towards the back wall, this will provide some elongation and some eccentric strengthening of the anterior abdominal muscles. Again, position of decompression you may also get a little bit of strengthening and pushing into the wall, holding that contracture, and then coming on back here, all right? Last exercise is a barrel roll exercise. A patient's gonna be on the ground, just putting a little pressure with their knees and with their arms in the abdominal ball. This will get deep core engagement. As they do this, try to push the spine just a little bit into the, ta into the table or into the ground. Low roll to the right, and hold it three, four, five seconds. They'll roll to the left and hold that three, four, five seconds. They'll get a little bit more abdominal activation and also activation of their obliques while they do it. Again, these exercises are about decompressing the spine, getting a little bit of deep core strengthening. 
I typically recommend anywhere between on that barrel roll, maybe about five to six reps, holding it about five to six seconds, rolling side to side about twice a day. That reverse bug and that wall bug, maybe about 10 to 15 reps, two sets, two to three times a day. That decompression position it will be as needed. If you, ever, if you need to do it to reduce your symptoms, go for it. Same thing with that knees to chest. These are five exercises for spondylolisthesis that we commonly recommend to patients. Thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications for more good information.